I love NeoPixels, so it's no real shocker that I started my first program with NeoPixels. That's a 10 white things at the top there. They are RGB, um, it means you co code in the red, green, and blue blends, and they are addressable. Also, you can add on NeoPixels, which is good, and that's the wires next to it. You need to know what is what, though, which is nice that on the back, they have it labeled ground battery and P2, because you have to hook the, the right stuff up. you got to hook P2 signal up to signal on the NeoPixels, and you got to power up to power. So I have just jumper cables out. Um, jumper cables actually have alligator clips and two alligator clips, or it could have been to a wire, but I happen to have these uh, NeoPixel strip that have alligator clips on it, which makes it nice and easy for prototyping. Got them at Adafruit. I also have others. So let me turn this on. And we'll see some light. As you can see, all of them don't go on. Well, I didn't actually code them all to go on. But you also have to remember that there are 10 NeoPixels on there. So, for example, if I had a string of 30 and I told it to do 30, well, only 20 on the strip would light up because 10 are on the bit booster. So you got to decide what to do with that, whether you're going to make those 10 uh, blank color, no color, zero brightness. Take your pick. I just have a simple program running. Um, first thing you have to do is you have to tell, it to, tell it to set up a strip. Strip's a variable. You could call that anything you want. It all automatically makes it called strip. I uh, have to tell what pin it's on. These are on pin 2. That's where the bit booster puts them. And I said this has 25 LEDs. So that means 15 of my strip are lighting up. I originally set the brightness to zero just because I was going to run a little program that kept upping the brightness. Uh, brightness goes zero to 255. 256 choices at the power of two kind of thing. Um, and then I have on there, if I press button A, set the brightness back to zero. But what's going to happen with this is this is just going to keep scrolling, you know, 0, 50, 100, 150, 200, 250. And then it's going to add 50 to 250, but it's going to add 5 and then add 45 to 0 because it only goes up to 255. So it's never actually going to go clear or not on unless I press A. But look and see, if I just press A, it's not going because in my code, I have them lit up for two seconds. And am I pressing the button at exactly the right time? Again, this is a logic problem. So I got to hold the button. So that sometime in that two second cycle, it goes through and sees me pressing the button. So that's some NeoPixels. I'm not quite sure how many it can power. I've done two strips of 30 before with just this power. Uh, this has 4.5 volts. It has a power divider splitter kind of thing. It sends three volts to the uh, micro bit because that's all it wants. And then it powers the other stuff with what, it, what, what they need. Uh, so there's some uh, NeoPixels.